Hi, in this video, you will see Korea's first artificial pond of a detached palace of the Baekje Kingdom of Korea, Gungnamji, which is famous for a love story of Prince Sodong and Princess Sunwa, as well as lots of different kinds of lotus flowers. Sodong's mother was an attendant lady for King Pop, a Baekje Kingdom, lived near a pond and had him after having a relationship with a dragon near it. And he was living poor, selling young. At the time, dragon meant king. He heard the third daughter of King Jinpyeong of the Shilla Kingdom was beautiful, so he went to Shilla and gave out yams to children to spread Sodong's song. The story that the princess Sonwa gets out of the palace and meets Sodong secretly every night. The love story that the princess Sonwa got kicked out by king and the waiting Sodong took her to Baekje and became the 30th king, the King Mu. Soon, he built an artificial pond on the south out of the palace and it became the first man-made pond in Korean history. What's special is that a small island was made in the middle of the pond and a pavilion, Poryongjong, was built and it's so beautiful. Gungnamji is an architectural heritage in the Baekje period, so I rent outfits of Baekje period at a traditional clothing rental shop at the entrance of Baekje cultural heritage complex. Isn't it beautiful? I wear two outfits of a royal robe and a princess outfit and edit it as if I had played two different characters. It was fun, so I will sometimes do so. This is a parking lot in Sodong Park where Gungnamji Pond is and it's spacious as Sodong Lotus Festival is not held this year. From the start of the Lotus Garden, it is made beautiful. I was a little disappointed that white lotus flowers seems to have withered away and red ones weren't in full bloom yet, but they were still beautiful. The red lotus flower is bigger than my face. The leaf of lotus is much bigger. I wish there were places to sell lotus leaves. I'd like to make steamed rice wrapped in a lotus leaf. It's a water poppy bulb. If the flower opens wide, it looks like a poppy flower. These yellow lotus flowers look like yellow roses.
a way to distinguish a lotus and water lily is that a lotus has seeds while a water lily doesn't. Now that I'm wearing the outfit a better period like Princess Sun Hua, I feel so good as the color of the outfit is colorful like lotus flowers. I think she must have felt happy looking at these lotus flowers like me. This is a photo zone with a lot of lotus flowers in bloom. This is where water lilies are and photographers got together to take photos of them. This is Victoria. The flowers open only at night for two days and wither away. Photographers take photos of them with passion. Water lily has its name as it flowers on water. Temperate water lily has no flower stalk, while tropical one has a tall flower stalk. The color of tropical water lily is much more vivid, so it looks prettier and rare to see. There are a variety of water lilies, and they are so pretty. On the way to Poryongjong Pavilion, I see the highest swing that I've ever seen. Poryongjong Pavilion is seen far away, and to swing before its nice view would be exciting. At last, the awesome Poryongjong, surrounded with beautiful day lilies, appears. Horyongjong that can be reached by crossing the long wooden bridge is a pavilion built on a small island in the middle of the huge pond. Though this wooden bridge is simpler than the famous arched stone bridge in the Summer Palace in China, it is more beautiful. It's amazing that they built this huge and wonderful artificial pond 1,400 years ago. They built this Poryongjong by digging out the earth and filling it with water to make a pond, and then building a pavilion in the center of the island of earth. It was built after Prince Sadong became King Mu and was named Gungnamji, meaning the pond located south of the palace. The lyrics of the very Sadong song is on the wall. Princess Sun Wai has affection for Sodong and gets out secretly to be in his arms every night. It would be nice for couples to walk along this bridge intimately like Sadong and Sun Huang. I came back to Gungnamji at night as it is famous for its beautiful night view. Though the festival is not held this year, it is open day and night, so we can visit here anytime and the night view is awesome as I expected.
Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, and comment.